Hi, we are here with Texas Senate candidate Ted Cruz, who, if you have not noticed already, I endorse and support absolutely. He's going to be awesome in the U.S. Senate. And he's here at Red State. So how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. How's the campaign going? Uh, the campaign has been going incredibly well. We have got momentum that it, that is has just been incredible. We've really seen conservatives and Tea Party activists and grassroots leaders in Texas and nationally unite around the campaign. At the national level, we've seen Freedom Works and Club for Growth and Madison Project all endorse the campaign. And four stalwart conservatives in the U.S. Senate, Senator Jim DeMint, Senator Mike Lee, Senator Rand Paul, and Senator Pat Toomey all endorsing the campaign. And the reason is simple. They are fighting the good fight for conservative, fiscal, fiscally responsible, constitutional principles. And they're outnumbered right now. And they need reinforcements. And I, we are seeing an incredible team come together for me to be able to join them and help them win the fight to stop the Obama agenda and retake our country. That's awesome. I agree with you 100%. I was very proud of my state for sending Marco Rubio to be one of those conservative reinforcements. I hope we get to send you and Adam Hasner as well in 2012. Um, thinking of constitutional law, for the, my viewers that don't know, uh, Ted Cruz here is an attorney with some constitutional law experience on the Bush v. Gore case. I, um, can you give a couple comments on the Obamacare ruling today? Sure. Today's decision was a terrific decision from the Court of Appeals. The Court of Appeals said two things about Obamacare. Number one, it said the individual mandate that, that forces us to purchase insurance was unconstitutional. It was beyond the power of Congress. That ruling was unquestionably correct. The justifications the Obama administration gave for Obamacare were legal arguments that essentially said the federal government could do anything it wants to do, and that is utterly inconsistent with the text of the Constitution and with the understanding of the framers. The Court of Appeals emphatically agreed with that. Now, unfortunately, the Court of Appeals also concluded the rest of Obamacare, the other 2,000 pages of the bill, still stands. Now, the case is almost certain to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. And I think when it goes to the Supreme Court, in my judgment, and as you mentioned, my background, I was the Solicitor General of Texas, the Chief Lawyer for the State of Texas, in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. So my professional career has been fighting for conservative principles before the U.S. Supreme Court. In my judgment, I think it is more likely than not a majority of the Supreme Court will agree with the Court of Appeals, will agree that the individual mandate is unconstitutional. Now, the downside is, I think there's a real risk they'll also agree with the Court of Appeals that the rest of Obamacare stands. And if they do that, what that means is that we can't count on the courts to fix the problem. The solution to Obamacare is political. It is electing strong conservative leaders who will fight every day to repeal every syllable of every word of Obamacare. And if I'm elected to the U.S. Senate, the very first bill I intend to introduce is a bill to repeal every syllable of every word of Obamacare. All right. Y'all see why I like this guy? Thank you so much, Ted Cruz, and really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Bye-bye.